read two poems. Rootless. Between Hanoi and Sapa, there are clean slabs of rice fields and no two brick houses in a row. I mean, no three. See countings hard and half sleep, and the rain pulls a sheet over the sugar palms and their untroubled leaves. Hours ago, I crossed a motorbike with a hog strapped to its seat, the size of a date pit from a distance. Can the solitude be rootless, unhooked from the ground? No matter. The mind resides both inside and out. It can think itself and think itself into existence. I sponge off the eyes, no worse for wear. My frugal mouth spends the only foreign words it owns. At present, on the sleeper train, there's nowhere to arrive. Me? I'm just here in my traveler's clothes, trying on each passing town for size. Ongoing. Never mind the distances traveled, the companion she made of herself, the threadbare twenties not to be underestimated, a wild depression that ripped from January into April. And still she sprouts an appetite, insisting on edges and cores when there were none. Relationships annealed through shared ambivalences, pages that studied her, books that prowled her until hard daybreak and for months after, separating new vows from the old, like laundry whites. Small losses jammed together so as to gather mass. Stored generations of filtered quietude and some stubbornness. Tangles along the way the comb teeth of the mind had to bite through, but for what? She had trained herself to look for answers at eye level, but they were lower, they were changing all the time. 